This equilibrium problem is going to require a little bit more effort to solve than the one in the prior video. In this problem, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula or the quadratic equation to solve for x. So before we get into that too deeply, um, let's pick out the stuff that we're going to need to solve or to put into the aquatic quadratic. Here we've got this um, dinitrogen tetroxide being converted into nitrogen dioxide. They give you the K right here and they give you a gram amount and a volume. So the first thing that you should recognize is that we have to get the equilibrium concentration for what they give you and which is the N2O4. In order to do that, I'm going to have to convert this gram amount into moles. So that's where I'm going to begin. The concentration of N2O4 must be calculated. So I'm going to get the molar quantity first, 15.6 grams of N2O4, and I'm going to multiply that by one mole over its molar mass, which is 90, about 92 grams per mole. The N2O4. And when I do that, see 15.6 divided by 92, that gives me 0.16, well no it's actually going to be 0 0.170 moles when I round that for significant figures. And so now they're giving me the concentration of 5.0 liters, so I'm just going to go ahead and divide that by 5 liters so I can get the molarity. And the molarity is 0 0.0339 molar. So that's my initial concentration of the N2O4, and it goes right here in my ice chart, 0 0.0339. Now, initially, like we said before, this is the concentration, and it's going to uh, lose a certain amount. It's going to be converted into the product NO2. You don't know what that amount is, so we're going to call it X. So it's going to lose amount X. So down there in your, at your equilibrium, it's going to be this 0 0.0339 minus that value X. Now for the product, initially there is no product. It's all N2O4, and there's none of this NO2 present. So at equilibrium, you have lost a certain amount of your reactant, and over here you have gained a certain amount of this product. Now you have to go back to the chemical equation and see what the stoichiometric ratio here, and it shows you that it's 1 to 2. So for every 1 mole you lose of this or you convert of this, you get 2 moles of the product. So if I have X moles that I'm converting, I'm going to be gaining 2x moles of product. So that becomes you're going to gain 2x moles. And that comes from the stoichiometric relationship of 1 to 2. So its equilibrium concentration, this plus 2 and 0, is going to be 2x. Now that I have these values, I can plug them into the equilibrium expression. So let's go ahead and write the equilibrium expression. K is equal to NO2 squared from the coefficient divided by the concentration of N2O4. And they told me that that is equal to 5.88 times 10 to the negative 3. That's the K value and it comes from the problem. So now I'm just going to put my equilibrium concentrations in right here. 
I'm going to rearrange this just a little bit. I don't know why I do that. I guess I just like it better that way. So the N NO2, that's the 2x part. It goes on the top, and remember it's squared in the equation. And so on the bottom, I'm going to put this 0 0.0339 minus x. Now I'm going to do like I did before and put that over 1 and cross multiply. When I do that, I get 2x squared. Well, let me just go ahead and simplify that. 2x squared is 4x squared because this square is on the outside of the parentheses. It squares the 2 and then also squares the x. So that is equal to this 5.88 times 10 to the negative 3 times 0 0.0339 minus x. All right now you're going to have to distribute this and I don't have room to do it here so I'm going to do it on the I'm going to copy and paste it onto the next page. So there it is. And now I'm going to see if I can simplify that. This little thing is a little too big, so we're going to make it smaller. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll just move it. All right. So when I simplify this, sorry about that, I'm going to have 4x squared is equal to 5.88, let's see, times 10 to the negative 3 times 0 0.0339, and that's 1.99 times 10 to the negative 4 minus 5.88 times 10 to the negative 3x. So you should recognize the format here. If you set this um, equal to 0, that means you um, move this 4x squared to the other side and make the whole expression equal to 0, you should recognize this formula as the quadratic. So that's going to be negative 4x squared plus one point, well let me write it in quadratic form. So I'm going to swap, since this has the x component, I'm going to put it next, minus 5.88 times 10 to the negative 3x plus 1.99 times 10 to the negative 4. So here is my quadratic, and you're going to have to use the quadratic formula in order to solve for this. Now, you can do it by hand, or you can get your graphing calculator to do it for you if you have a program written for it. So I'm just going to pause the tape and do it on my graphing calculator. So I put this, I have a program on my graphing calculator and I just ran my program and inputted A, B, and C. And my calculator gave me two values, negative 0.00783 and positive 0.00636. Well, you can't have a negative um, e concentration in chemistry. So this is the value that you're going to use. So that's X. X is going to equal 0.00636. Um, and that'll be molar because it's concentration. So now I can plug this x value. I can take this 
and put it in here and there so that I will get both equilibria concentrations. So the N2O4 is going to equal 0 0.0339 minus 0 0.00636 And that leaves me with 0 0.0275 molar. And the other one, the NO2 concentration, that's simply 2 times 0 0.00636. And I get point zero one two seven molar. And those are my answers for the equilibria concentrations of the reactants and products in this problem. So I'm going to go back to my problem and just make sure that I have finished. It says calculate the amount of NO2 at equilibrium and the percentage of the original N2O4 that is dissociated. Well, I'm not finished. I've got both equilibria concentrations. It actually asked me for, I believe, this one. To figure out the percent of reactant that dissociated, which would be the percent of N2O4 that dissociated, we need to look at X, which is the amount that actually dissociated, and that's the part. Percent is always the part over the whole. So I'm going to put the part, which is X, that dissociated, 0 0.00636, divided by the, in, the whole amount that I started with, which was 0 0.0339, and I'm going to multiply that times 100 to get my percent. And when I do that, I get 18.8% dissociated. And for significant figures, you can round that to 19%. And that's all there is to it. We've answered our problem.